inspirational book today. Something that's going to make us think and maybe, you know, kind of alter our attitude a little bit. Let's take a look at some athletes. Athletes, they've got to power through some serious injuries. Uh, they get them more than we do. Is that... Is that is David that, Beckham? That's Beckham. Now, Bend Beckham, it like Beckham. He's not just a pretty boy. He's a world-class athlete, and the guy has powered through uh, some really tough physical situations. You know, these guys, the sport takes a real toll on the body. Well, we're about to meet uh, the U.S. Soccer Medical Officer, Dr. Bert Mandelbaum. He has uh, written a pretty inspirational book. It can tell us non-athletes how to power through like the champions. It's called The Win Within, Capturing Your Victorious Spirit, Dr. Mandelbaum, welcome to Good Day New York. Great to be home. Well, tell us about why you wanted to put this book together. Well, you know, I was an athlete. I grew up on Long Island, uh, played lacrosse, was coach lacrosse at Hopkins, and been a sports doctor for over two decades. And I've been on sidelines and front lines and had a story to tell. So I decided to write a fun and inspirational book to empower each of us that the win is always within. Now, did you ever treat David Beckham? Yes, so, yes. So, what happened? Tell us the circumstances. <laughs> we need to know more. Amazing professional, on and off the field. He just shows characteristic traits, adversity, tears his Achilles tendon, comes back. People say you can't come back less than a year. He comes back in six months. And again, more adversity. He wants to be on the Olympic team in 2012 in London. Coach doesn't allow him to do that. And what happens? He comes back. He's the face of the opening ceremonies for the Olympics. Incredible. Now, what is your advice to these guys? Are you in a kind of a, a difficult position? I mean, medically, there might be one answer. Uh, inspiration sometimes does not <laughs> jive with the best medical advice, right? Well, being a sports doctor, you've got to think of all sides. You have to deal with the physical, the physiological, and the spirit. You've got to be a motivator, an inspirator, a philosopher at all times. Doc, what, what are the lessons that we can take from this book? Well, they're, they're really, this we call it the big five. And there are five areas that those people who are successful really focus on to get to their win within. And they are? It, it, it starts with, you are what you eat, you drink, you think, and you do. Oh, every day, all I the time. I was hoping you weren't going to bring that up, yeah. Doc. Something more. <laughs> well, it, we, but Rosanna, it makes perfect it's true. sense. It's, uh, all right, it so, does make perfect sense. Because are, look at these guys. They, you know, they take care of themselves. All right. they are, so exercise and nutrition, number one. What else? Number one, you have to live every day with discovery, adventure, and creating rich experiences. Okay. So would that be uh, rich experiences, adventure, and challenges? I also heard that optimism is key to success in your book. Optimism, positivism, and passion in everything we do. It gets us through even the most dire circumstances. So you meet some athletes who, you know, they tear a ligament. That potentially is a career-ending injury. And you're there. Part of your job I'm getting is to say, you know what? Not necessarily. You can make it through this. You can do it. We can do it. And we can do it. And the focus, the locking on to that, putting these big five together allows us to be successful. You talk about relationships in the book. What relationships? Life is a team sport. Any which way you go, you need your family team, your professional team, you need mentors. And most importantly, you need people you can be compassionate towards. And values, how do you place that in, in your group of five? You know, especially today, we watch the images every minute, every day, oh wife beating, child molestation, issues of crossing the line, issues of murder. It is very important. We must do the right thing 100% of the time, character and values really rule us as we go through that. You know, I, I, you know we talk about Derek Jeter a lot. I, you've never treated Derek Jeter, no. have you? But, I mean, this is a guy who has great values. I mean, he is the role model. I, I know you get sick of me talking I, about Derek she's Jeter. She's in love with Derek well, Jeter. It's not that I'm in love with him. He, he carries himself with respect on and off the field. He hasn't been arrested. <laughs> Got to give him that. <laughs> and, and we have to drive him a point. 98% of the athletes are just like that. They do have values, and if we, they can follow the big five. Uh, one more thing on this, though. I mean, athletes sometimes, they're, it's tough to be real. It's tough to be down to earth. They are heroes from the age of 12, usually, because they were the best athletes in school. They're worshipped. They're thrown gifts, scholarships, money. They have, I think, an air of expectancy sometimes. It's not their fault. It's the way we treat them. You've, you've seen this, right, Doctor? Exactly. But the important thing is the balance. 
teaching people the balance, whether you're a football player, basketball player, soccer player, we've got to learn that life is this complex array of things that we need to put together as a matrix. We need to think about it every day, and whether you're Derek Jeter or David Beckham. Landon, or Greg Kelly. Or Greg Kelly, any one of us, old guys, young guys. <laughs> People with disabilities, we all think about it the same way. We have it inside us. We just have to figure out how to get it out. The, the win, win within. within. Capturing your victorious spirit, uh, Dr. Bert Mandelbaum. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you.